But there's a power in that, in that it makes you relatable, but it also makes you connect more with people that may be outside of your scope or outside of your periphery. It all lies with you. You have to choose yourself so that you can get things done for you. I equate value in my work and success in my work to being productive. I'm definitely working on changing that mindset. Silence can be good in that sometimes you do not have to give a response to everything that is directed your way. Me, I kept absolutely mm, mm. Do you know what I'm saying? I just moved in the shadows. I kept quiet. I kept to myself, I said nothing. You do not want to punish the ones around you because of what you are carrying in you, within you, from your past or from your pre previous encounters. You do not want to punish the ones that are currently in your life because you don't want to work on yourself. Therapy is powerful. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to 2024 on the Katla Malela channel. Hey, we made it. Hey, we are so thankful to God or to whoever it is who you celebrate as your spiritual higher power. We're so thankful to have safely made it into 2024. And before I get started, I want to share with you all my well wishes, all my hopes for you for the new year so that you may enter into the new year, fulfill your dreams, work hard, stand in your business, choose yourself, do everything that it takes for you to make this here year this new year this year year of 2024 one to remember thank you so much for being here with me today i'm so so excited to film this video it's a little bit of a looking back into the year of 2023 and what it is that i learned from this previous year and let me tell you i learned a lot of things and as you know i always put them down on my phone so that we can talk through them talk around them but um these are the things that i learned in 2023 that i want to keep with me in 2024 just as a reminder right i want to look at this video back sometime in this year and look back and say you know what i learned that last year i learned that last year i am not going to do this again this year okay i'm not going to do this again so i hope you watch this video share with me some of the things that you learned in 2023 down below please do subscribe to the channel we've got a lot of content coming some special things coming especially in the year of 2024 thank you so much for constantly supporting me whether you supported me in 2023 2022 2021 2020 whatever whenever you chose to support me thank you so much also do bear in mind that i do have a membership channel yes i do there will be content on the membership channel as well but um let's not dilly dally let's get into the video let us look back into the year of 2023 and what i took away from that let's get started so one of the big things that i definitely learned in 2023 was that nobody is going to be like you no one is going to react to situations like you will react to situations no one will be as helpful as you no one will be as considerate as you are no one is going to be considerate with other people's emotions like you are no one is going to be you and one of the biggest things that helped me realize this in 2023 is that I think for me personally 2023 was one of the hardest years in the recent maybe four or five plus years that I've ever had to go through I went through many personal struggles I went through many financial struggles I went through many emotional struggles um I, I really do suppose 2022, 23 were the hardest, hardest years for me. And I also realized that not everybody is just going to be in your corner. Nope, not anybody is going to be like you in the sense that, you know, I expected that a lot of people would kind of check in on me as I do them. I expected that a lot of people would stand by me, not necessarily um, take my side and things, but stand by me in terms of support and all of that. But I found myself having to figure it out and do things by myself, figure it out on my own, irrespective of whether 
you know, I have people around me that I have gone out on a limb to help, to assist, to be there for emotionally, mentally, all of that. 2023, outside of just a few people that are in my circle, 2023 was by far the one year I felt most alone. Like I spent a lot of my time alone in this house in 2023. Was it helpful? Yes, in the sense that I learned a lot about myself. I learned to just man up, grow up, do what you gotta do, bro. Figure it out your own way. Um, I did a lot of things alone. I got into a lot of ventures alone. I had to figure it out, had to figure out how to do it. I did not have answers, you know, starting a business and all of that. I did not have the answers. I found myself having to look at, watch a lot of content online, figure out a lot of things when it comes to, you know, registering a business and doing this, that and the other. So 2023 was one year where I felt truly alone in a lot of endeavors outside of the small people, the uh, small circle of people that, um, I trust and believe in and and the people that I can lean on even with that I just I withdrew from that and I I told myself that you know what at the end of the day you're going to have to figure out how to do this alone so that's one big thing that I took away from 2023 is that nobody's going to be like you just because you will go out on a limb and overextend yourself even in some cases um, it doesn't mean that people will do the same for you. And it took 2023 for me to realize that. That was a hard realization. That was hard. But hey, hey, ho, we're going to move through. We're going to move through, sweetie. The next thing that I also realized in 2023 that there's a power in vulnerability. There's a power in actually choosing to be vulnerable. As much as I am... Uh, person who's in the the media space like i'm i'm online and influencing and all of that but there is a power in vulnerability in that i share a lot of my struggles not completely detailed right but i share a lot of my struggles online i talk about some of the things that i'm going through especially mentally um some struggles that i'm going through in terms of my high functioning depression, my down days, right? My down episodes, all of that. But there's a power in that, in that it makes you relatable, but it also makes you connect more with people that may be outside of your scope or outside of your periphery. And that power also attracts people to you. There's something about being vulnerable online and actually sharing what is really going on outside of the fact that people see you, you know, living nice and, 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 and looking pretty and attending all these wonderful things and blah, blah, blah. But it also humanizes you. Um, the power of being vulnerable also humanizes you to other people. And I think that is a really, really powerful thing because then it makes people open up to you a lot more. I've, uh, 2023 was the one year where people opened up to me, okay? Not only just my coaching clients and um, just people who watch me online, sending me DMs and all of that, but people just open up to you. And I think they do that because they see a softer side of you that humanizes you to them. Um, so they look at you and they don't think, oh, well, she's an influencer. I can't relate to her. I can't do this with her. I can't. They look at you and they think, you know what? She's a human being too. She goes through struggles too. She goes through difficult times too. And, and, and there's a power in that. It's at the end of the day, you only have yourself. You only have yourself. You have got to choose you. Okay. You have to prioritize yourself. If you have to protect your peace, you have to do it. You have to choose yourself so that you can protect your peace. If you have to make sure that things are done, bills are paid, things are blah, blah, blah. You know, like you need to show, make sure that there's food on the table. You need to make sure that mentally you're all right. You need to make sure that you are clothed. You need to make sure that bills are paid. You need to make sure it all lies with you. You have to choose yourself so that you can get things done for you. You have to prioritize yourself. I realize that a lot of the time I, I still struggle a little bit with people pleasing 
and wanting people to know that I'm always there for them and wanting people to be happy, even if it's at the expense of myself, even if it's at the detriment of myself. But I realized in 2023 that people gonna stay choosing themselves, okay? People will keep staying choosing themselves. People will continue to, you know, <clears throat> do things their way. They'll continue to choose themselves above you, blah, blah, blah. I then realized that you only have yourself. And it's a hard realization to have, especially when you're an empath and especially when you're so concerned about um, the interests of other people or especially when you're so concerned with the, the state of being of other people, right? The well-being of other people, they need you. So you need to help them out, right? A family member calls you, they need you. They need to talk to you. They need to this. Your friend calls you, hey friend, I'm going through this. They're venting out, they need you. Um, somebody, whatever, somebody is always needing you. Um, I realized that a lot of the time you need to choose yourself as well. You need to be aware of the fact that you also need to be okay. And that means choosing yourself. Whether you like it or not, you just, you just gotta do it. You just gotta do it. You gotta do it. You have to do it. Um, and 2023 made me realize that. that 2023 also helped me realize that rest is absolutely mandatory. Rest is not a reward, it's a response. You have to respond. Something happens physically to your body when you do not rest. Yeah. Let me tell you. <laughs> Something happens physically to your body when you do not rest. And so much so, because I'm a high-functioning depressive, so a lot of the time I find myself just diving into work, diving into projects, diving into opportunities, diving, diving, gotta, gotta do it, gotta do it, I got the time, I gotta do it, I gotta do it, that I tend to put rest on the back burner. 2023 was the year where rest said, you are not listening, you are not listening, I will force you to rest. So I got physically sick, I would physically get sick. My body would be in so much pain. And I don't understand why is my body in all this pain, right? Stressed out, trying to rest, but not really resting. Then now I'm struggling with insomnia. Then now this, this, that, and the other. I realized in 2023, and I think it's definitely in the last half of 2023, where I realized that I need to preach the message not only to others, but to myself, that rest is mandatory. It is not a reward, it's a response. You have to respond to yourself by giving yourself enough time to rest and take it easy and take time out and do digital detoxes. If there's one thing that I learned in 2023, um, especially when it comes to the resting, resting in terms of social media for me was, was I think I started doing a lot of that in maybe the last four months of 2023, where I was just like, I don't have anything to post today. I don't want to post anything today. Even if I did have stuff right in my drafts and all of that, I don't want to post anything today. I don't want to be on Instagram today. I don't want to, um, you know, force myself to do things just because I have a fear of being idle, right? I equate value in my work and success in my work to being productive. I'm definitely working on changing that mindset. However, I realize that because I think this way, it makes me seeing rest as a response or me seeing rest as being mandatory as not a thing. Rest will be that girl. Rest will be the girl that's like, okay, Okay, you don't want to listen to me. You don't want to listen. I'm going to force you. I'm going to force you to listen. And I did. Eventually, I did. The positive and the negative is that silence is definitely an answer. Silence is definitely an answer. Let me tell you something, okay? If you are fighting with someone that you love, right? If you're fighting with someone that you care about, or if someone is trying to run their mouth about you, somebody who barely knows you, right? Trying to run their mouth about you, trying to talk about how you're a horrible person, blah, 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 all of this. Silence is definitely an answer. It goes back to the fact that no is an answer, right? But that's, that's not what we're talking about. I learned that silence is an answer and it can be good 
and it can be extremely bad. Silence can be good in that sometimes you do not have to give a response to everything that is directed your way. Sometimes when somebody tries to provoke you, sometimes when tr somebody tries to um, 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 try and get a rise out of you, when somebody is trying to get you to say something, right? They want you to say something. Therefore, they're going to say something that is deliberately hurtful or something that you know at the core of your being that this is not true. This is not true but they're trying to warrant a response from you. They're trying to drag it out of you. Silence is your best friend. Something happened with me in 2023 where I just chose to keep quiet. I just chose to keep quiet. Whether somebody was saying something to provoke me or to manipulate me or to try and get a rise out of me, I kept absolutely mm -hmm. Do you know what I'm saying? I just moved in the shadows. I kept quiet. I kept to myself. I said nothing. And that was a response in and of itself because the, the way that those people then respond towards you when you keep quiet and you choose not to address it, it's the craziest thing. Then they end up coming back and wanting to talk to you like, bro, why are you quiet? Like, what's going on? Like, is everything okay? Or this, that, and the other. All because you just said mm. quiet. Negative is that I noticed that then people will uh, 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 be silent towards you. So I'm an anxious attachment style, right? I'm an anxious attachment style. It makes absolute sense given the fact that I'm an introvert, rats. So I noticed that when people are silent then towards me. So maybe I may have said something, right? So I want us to talk it through. So let's talk about it. Let's properly sit down, talk about it. Let it be a, a genuine conversation. Let us not intentionally try to hurt each other in any way, shape or form. Let us just try, right? Let us just try. Then people project silence towards me. Then they give me the silent treatment. And then I realize that silence can be powerful in the fact that it can be negative. It can be used as a manipulative tool. Silence can be used as a way that someone wants to control you. Silence can be used as a way in which, and, and this is not in all cases. Sometimes people need to be silent so that they are also protecting their own peace, right? They could be doing what you do, right? But um, even... There's, there's a certain point where you draw the line, right? There's, there's, you can't be like, okay, I'm not going to talk to her for two weeks because you're already pushing a certain agenda. You're pushing a certain narrative. And if there's one thing that I never want someone I care about to feel is I never want my silence towards them to feel like a form of rejection or isolation or anything like that. I want them to know that I'm just being silent for the time being because I am working oh on gosh. this. Another big thing, running a business like literally day to day to day to day to day. Like listen, everything is your responsibility is no child's play. Who 2023 taught me. <laughs> oh, I need to take it. I just take a minute for this. I'm already starting to sweat just thinking about this. Hang on. I'm already starting to sweat just thinking about this. This is crazy. This is crazy. <laughs> Starting a business, managing that business by yourself, making sure that you are, listen, you're, you're, you're making sure that the, the social media pages uh, of that business are running, right? Because you constantly need to be marketing, uh, marketing yourself, right? As a business, right? So I started Life by Design Coaching. I did this last year. If you've been following me, you know that I'm a, I'm a self-development and mental health life coach, right? So I started this business. I'm telling you, I had to be my own assistant. I had to be my own manager. I had to be my own uh, marketing team, okay? I had to be my own... Listen, listen, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I had to be a gaffer. I don't know. <laughs> I had to be my own photographer. I had to be my own everything with this business. And when I tell you on top of the fact that I'm doing what is required for the business, right? Like, 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 like the coaching and all of that and the speaking engagements and all of this on top of that. I have to manage my emails. I have to make sure that things are in order for C CIPC, for SARS. I have to make sure I had to do everything. And even with SARS, I can, I can be 
is incredibly honest with you. It's still even sketchy, tricky. Like it's 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 very it's very murky waters that one. And I've just decided that from this year, especially with the business, I'm gonna get somebody to do all of that regarding SARS and CIPC. I just can't be I can't because I don't have the business acumen, especially when it comes to that side of doing business, that I just feel like I'm gonna have somebody do it. That's fine. You know, I'm just going to have to take out the money, get it out of my pocket, have somebody do it for me. But let me tell you, running a <laughs> I'm sweating. Mm. Just even talking about it, I'm sweating. Running a business is not easy. And it took Life by Design to teach me just that. On top of the fact that you are... Create. I mean, people have businesses, they have teams, okay? They have people that are doing this. They have people who are doing this. I am doing all of it. I am running up and down trying to find out prices about my workbooks and printers and this and this because there was a time when I definitely reached out to people who I thought that might be able to help me and all of that. And the response I got was, no, but why don't you let me help you? Let me help you, blah, blah, blah. I can't give you my sources, what, 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 but let me help you. And then you can just pay me a portion. And I'm like, wow, I thought we were friends. I'm not asking you to pay for anything. I'm just asking you to point me in the right direction in terms of printers or in terms of this. And I was really devastated by that. And that's when I saw her, you know what? You only got you. You have to figure it out. I made calls. I did this. I did this. So a lot of the time when I was saying last year in my videos that please support your content creators. Please support them by just giving them a thanks or a super thanks or whatever. Because y'all don't know outside of what you see online what it is that we have to do to get through the day what it is that we have to do to make sure that we can still keep doing this, right? Equipment costs a lot of money. This, guys, guys. Um, another thing that I notice is people's attitudes. Oh man, this is a big one. People's attitudes towards you will change once they see, so it'll change from like a positive attitude towards you or about you or with anything in relation to you, that will change once they start seeing you as a threat. Once they start seeing you as a threat that you are somebody that could be like, like, like you could be, people's attitudes towards you will change. I noticed this with people that I thought were my friends, with people that I thought I could actually build something with. There are certain friendships that I did want to build in 2023. I really thought to myself that, you know what, I, I'm going to try. I'm going to try. I actively really like this, hun, right? I met some people in the last year where I was just like, you know what, I really, really want to create something with this person, not business related, nah. I really wanna create a sisterhood, a, 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 someone I can go to speak about, uh, speak to them about my relationship, about my life, you know. Uh, the only thing I try to shy away from discussing with friends is my family life because um, we, I have members of my family that are in the public eye and I don't like to talk about them, uh, especially with friends. There's like one or two people that I discuss my family members with um, and they are not in the public space and all of that. So I try not to discuss my family, but I'll talk about friendships and all of this, blah, blah, blah. And I tried that. And then I realized that once it got to a place where it, it looked as if like, you know, we're just, and here's the thing, right? People's attitudes towards you will also change if you can see that, you know, we're grown-ups. We're really just not in the same circle. We don't like the same things. You kind of like this kind of vibe, this kind of atmosphere, these kinds of people. I don't like those kinds of people. Maybe like I don't, but not like I don't, but like I don't associate myself, right, with, with those kinds of people um, or those kinds of spaces or all of that. And you just naturally drift apart. That's normal. That's absolutely normal. And I want to make that a, 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 a valid point. That's absolutely normal. However... Then you have people that are grand towards you. You know, they check in every now and again. We're talking. It's a good time, blah, blah, blah. 
and then you realize that now they've their attitude towards you has changed because um they starting to see the moves that you are making right socially the moves that you are making outwardly blah 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 all of that and they just kind of start to be different around you okay um one thing i also realized uh mind shifts mind shift sets you know when your mind shifts how you think about something shifts powerful Oh my God, had it not been because of me developing a growth mindset. Now, I, I, this is a lot of life coach jargon talk, right? Had I not developed a growth mindset in 2023, where I figured that, you know what, I want to, things are challenging right now, but you know what, I'm up for the challenge. Let's go. Let's do this. I don't know how I'm going to do this. I know I'm going to be carried by the grace of God. I know that I'm going to be carried by the, by the power of my mind. I need to think about it. I need to figure it out. There's certain things that I can't achieve because of certain obstacles, right? Or what have you. But I need to figure this out. I need to figure this out. I need to figure out how I am going to do this yada yada thick that. I just saw Thicker Than Water by Kerry Washington. And I said, Thicker. I need to figure out how to do this myself, right? And so for me, that's when I realized that developing a growth mindset as opposed to just a lazy mindset, right? There's different types of mindsets. Um, so a, 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 just a normal mindset says, you know, you look at something and then you think to yourself, I can't do this. I can't do this. There's no way I can do this. And then a growth mindset says, it's a challenge. It's a challenge. But let's see what we can do. I developed that mindset in 2023. And I talk about growth mindset a lot with my, with my um, coaching clients, with my clients. I talk about it a lot because I always discuss, especially in the beginning of our sessions, that developing a growth mindset is so important because it helps you, especially when it comes to your professional life, your relational life, emotional life, all of that kind of thing. Developing a growth mindset changes your goals, right? It makes your goals smart. I'm talking life coaching jargon. It makes your goals smart. It makes them measurable. It makes them attainable. It makes them what, what, blah, 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 right? Um, um, and so... All of this, it helped me so much to change my mindset when it comes to certain things in my life, all spheres of my life. Have a growth mindset about it. Therapy. Ooh, therapy. Let me tell you something. If I couldn't, if there's one thing I did, I ended up doing my, my therapy secretly, right? I didn't tell anyone I was going to therapy. I'd be like, oh no, I'm going to therapy. Then I'd keep quiet about it for like two, three months. Meanwhile, I am going to therapy every month, right? Um, I realized that I, I, I heard a great quote by a psychologist online, and I think it was on TikTok, where he was talking about something, but he was talking about therapy and the power of therapy and how he and his wife had to do therapy because their marriage was at its just... And he said that... Therapy is not for the broken. Therapy is for the wise. And I was like, ooh, ooh, ooh. I absolutely loved that quote so much that I write it down in my notes. I, I got it. I got it. There's a special notes that I have for all my favorite quotes. And I believe that this is so true. I, I feel like people think that you go to therapy because, oh, you've got so many problems and you've got so many things that you're going through and emotional trauma and childhood trauma and, and narcissism and, 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 and dealing with, um, you know, you know, all sorts of forms of abuse and all of this, blah, blah, blah. Yes. Yes. But because you are going into therapy and choosing to go into therapy, and I include coaching in this one as well, because some people can't afford therapy because it's so expensive. But um, there's also better help. Don't forget about that. But um, if you can't afford therapy, coaching is also another 
just like a like a less expensive way of actually kind of formulating your mind formulating your thoughts formulating what you want to work on what your goals are blah 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 finding some sense of direction right uh, therapy is very different because you are healing you're finding ways in which you can heal from trauma and all of that and coaching doesn't do that but therapy is so great because and choosing to go into therapy is being wise it's being full of wisdom because you're saying that i do not want this version of myself the one that is as i walk into therapy to be the version that i bring to the world i don't want that i don't want this broken version of me this really dark version of me to be the version that I bring into my relationship with my family, with my friends, with my uh, professional life, with my colleagues, whatever, whatever. You are saying that you want to be better immediately for yourself and then for those around you. You do not want to punish the ones around you because of what you are carrying in you, within you, from your past or from your pre previous encounters. You do not want to punish the ones that are currently in your life because you don't want to work on yourself. Therapy is powerful. Therapy is powerful. Because of therapy, I've learned more self-awareness. I've learned how to deal with certain things that I typically wouldn't have known how to deal with. I learned about attachment styles. I've learned how to uh, 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 manage that by just going to therapy. Managing my life by just going to therapy. And then the last one, for me, I just feel like 2023 also made me realize that I'm destined for greatness. And I need to stop shying away from it. Um, I, I doubt myself a lot. I doubt the projects that I get into, whether they'll become successful or not. I doubt, um, I just have a lot of self-doubt. I'm working through it. <laughs> it, takes, it takes a while, okay? Um, but if there's one thing that I did realize is that there is something, there's a light within me right um and i'm not i'm not trying to be pompous or um uh, uh run my mouth here or um try to show myself in a in a Ooh, i'm this i'm that no i'm not trying to do that i'm just trying to tell it like it is i know that there are certain parts of me that are light and i've known that it took me uh 2023 to realize that a lot of times there's people who want to dim that light within me and I'm working my way through trying to have no contact with those people or trying to have as limited contact as possible. I'm working my way through just trying to keep to myself and doing things my way, the way that I know how, and it's working for me currently, right? But I noticed that in, it, I noticed in 2023, um, I noticed in 2023 that I'm meant for more, right? I'm meant to help others. I'm meant to live a life where I speak about my story. I speak about my, 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 my life struggling with mental health, um, developing others, developing kids. Like I'm, I'm going into something this year where I'll, I'm going to be talking to kids. And I'm so excited! <laughs> I'm so excited, but like, it's, it's just, I'm living in my purpose. Uh, and every time I talk about living in my purpose, I get very, very emotional. Okay. I get short breath. I get really emotional because I feel like that is the one thing in my life that shone in 2023. It literally went bah, here. You're finally here. You're finally here. Now get to work. Right, all these years you've tried this, you've jumped into that, you tried YouTube, you tried to be a beauty creator, you tried to be this. This is where I want you. This is what God said. This is where I want you. Now it's time to work. Focus. And yeah, so I realized that I'm destined for great things. I don't care who says what. I don't care who believes it. I don't care who doesn't believe it. Great things to others might be becoming a multi-millionaire, multi-billionaire. Great things for me is changing lives. And that's all that matters for me. So this, those are some of my takeaways from 2023. Let me know what some of your takeaways are. I'd really, really love to know. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for choosing me over and over again. Welcome to 2024. Really excited. 
really really excited if you enjoyed the video please give it a like thumbs up subscribe join the membership space if you care and i'll see you in the next video until then sayonara